Hi there, welcome to Cub Talks, the weekly documentary web series. This week we have something very cool. Cubs all-star catcher Wilson Contreras, an interview, a Q&A where he talks about umpires, how he feels about them, who has the filthiest stuff of the Cubs starting pitchers, who has the filthiest stuff that he faces in the Central Division. Really good stuff, very candid, you're going to love that. We were gone on vacation and I went down to Wrigley Field, caught a couple games, both W's for the Cubs, which was awesome, including a Schwarber walk-off in the 10th inning. And then I got to go down to Club 400 where they raise money for other Cubs fans in need. If you haven't been to a Club 400 event, you really need to go. They have some of the coolest Cubs memorabilia you can imagine, like everywhere. It is the ultimate man cave where they raise money for charity. It's wonderful. Make sure you get there sometime to an event. Let's get to that interview with Wilson Contreras. Enjoy. Man Cave has raised over $350,000 for Cubs fans and Cubs related charities and it's because of people like you who take their time out to come out here to Club 400. So thank you very much. So I was at the game in 2016 where this young catcher came up. What's that? Where everything started. Yeah, where everything started. Wilson's first at bat home run. Cubs won the World Series that year. Wilson Contreras' first All Star game, first at bat home run. What's it like to be Wilson Contreras, man? Uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Uh, my pleasure to be here. <sighs> I think I'm, I'm blessed from God. That's a that's a that's a huge blessing. Yeah. Being Wilson Contreras is just being me. That's how you fun and do every, anything for my team. That's that's who I am. This guy plays with passion, and that's what I love about him. Like he's given 110 percent every time he hits the field. I mean. Did, has that always been, a, has passion been a big part of your life? Is it just off the field too? or? Yes, I think um, since I was a kid, since I remember that I started playing when I was three years old, I've always been uh, the guy that gives 110% uh, for the team. And uh, when I cross the line, I don't have any friends besides my teammates. And I don't like to talk to people or uh, create or make friends with other teams. I think uh, when everything comes to the team, you just gotta, gotta look. Uh, Look forward to win a ball game and, and give your best every single day. How about you're thrown behind guys on the base? We're all panicking as fans, like that ball's going in right field, and it never does. I, um, I have, like you said, I have no fear because the, the worst thing that can happen just throw the ball away. But I don't like. Uh, I'm not afraid of making uh, physical mistakes. I'm more afraid of making uh, mental mistakes. And I think uh, that's why uh, I like to throw behind runners and I uh, play without fear. The 2016 in Cleveland, you won the World Series. I mean, I mean, you obviously you you, you weren't a Cubs fan your what, your whole life, but did, did you realize what it meant to the city of Chicago and the fans? I did. I didn't realize when uh, when I was we won the World Series. Well, after like. I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe it. I just got to the big leagues and with the World Series for a team that waits 108 years. It's Woo! first person. Yeah! And, uh, and I started I realized when uh, that I was a world champ and I started walking out the street and the people say, keep saying, I thank for what, what, what you guys did for the city. And I realized that talking to my family, it, it's, it is, it's, I mean, it's, I have no words to say, like to, to describe the, the feelings and uh, and and uh, how priceless it, it was the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. 
<laughs> He's never going to have to buy another meal in Chicago ever again. I think everybody has their own thoughts of playing baseball. Um, I don't mind the backflips, but uh, we, have, we have to respect the other team. So if you hit a home and you backflip, you just run the bases. Don't, don't keep walking, don't walk like down the first base line. But uh, I tried to change that, that this year, you know, like I was looking at my trial, the best player in the world, and I think uh, every homer that he hits in every bat flips, he started running, and that's why he's one of the best. Um, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not against the bat flips. Who is your favorite Cubs pitcher to catch for? <laughs> okay, the heart heavy hitting questions now. <laughs> well, Kyle Hendricks' father was here, so he better watch it, right? I gotta be careful. Now, obviously, uh, my five starters, all my starters, I like to play for them. I like to play for them. I'm not gonna say one name. I'm, the, I'm behind the plate every single day, and uh, I like to play with my team. I love him. Uh, I love the, the effort that they put every single day out there, and I'm gonna do well for them. How do you feel about this year's team and how far you're going to go? Uh, I feel good. I feel pretty good uh, with my team. Uh, before the All-Star break, we talk about making some adjustments offensively and defensively. And uh, the second half, we start pretty good. We start pretty good. We start pretty hard. And I think uh, that those four, four days off that we took, well, that they took, clear our minds a lot. And that's why we'll be playing right in the second half. Do you want to be a Cub for life? Yeah! yeah. If you leave it to me, I would say yes. I would say yes. I don't want to. I wish I could play the, uh, with the Cubs my whole career. I don't want to go anywhere, but uh, Bay was a business. You never, want, you never know what, where it's going to take you. But if you leave it up to me, I wouldn't change this city, you guys, and my team. Who's the biggest practical jokester? The biggest practical joke? The Rizzo. I think the Rizzo. Yeah. He's always dancing around and playing with the guys. And, um, he's, a, he's a really fun guy. He's a really nice guy. So I want to know who the filthiest of the pitchers are when they pitch to you. On our team, and then who the filthiest pitchers are on the opposite team? I think the filthiest pitcher that we have is Jude Darvish, for sure. <laughs> I'll say you. He has a lot, a lot, a lot of different pitches, and everything, everything is, he moves, everything moves like crazy. Against you. I'd say Josh Hader. I think it's hard, it's hard to be outside the rice game and do whatever you want, but <laughs> I think uh, Josh Hader is one of the filthiest pitchers. Okay. Okay. Who is your favorite player on the Cubs? Who is your favorite player on the Cubs? Who is your favorite player on the Cubs? The biggest lesson from Davey, I mean, Davey always was um, around, around my side when I got called up. And there was a game that we, we were playing against Seattle Mariners. And I, and I called the wrong pitch, and somebody hit a homer, and he came to the side, and he asked me what the situation was. <clears throat> then at the end, he told me that everything happened for a reason, and you, I'm going to make a lot, way more mistakes than, than I did that, that day. But we learned from it, and uh, we keep going. So there he was. He's a really special guy. It's really hard to, to create a relationship with the umpire because they think they're always right. And, <laughs> Even if you ask if you ask any type of question, they will say no. They will they will they will give you an answer. Um, there, there's a lot of players that they're mean, but Joe West we, sucks. <laughs> oh, I love Joe West. By the way, I love him. I think uh, he's, 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 he's a really really great guy. And uh, I was bored. The dugout wasn't playing. 
And then I saw a catch of equipment laying on the floor and I just put it on for fun. Just for fun. And then uh, these guys like saw me and I, I tried to, to take it up right away, but they already saw me. So he brought me to the office he, uh, in, and they asked me if he wanted to be a catcher. I say, if you want me to be a catcher, I can play anywhere you want me. Not I, I have no, I have no fear. He said, okay, you're gonna be a catcher. And then, Thank goodness, huh? I would have to say, this guy is going to be a perennial all-star for a very long time. There's no doubt about that. Uh... Hey, make sure you subscribe. It's down there in the corner. It's real easy. Just press the button. Give us a like. It's a little thumbs up there. And comment. We want to hear from you. Next week, we have some reality TV in our documentary web series with Kid K. That's Carrie Wood. You know him. You love him. See you then.